Hi, um, good morning. So this is a demo of the AI interviewer. Before now, a job has been created. In the interview pipeline of the job, the AI interviewer, AI interview was specified. Um, and then I have also applied for the job and I have moved um, my candidates, which is this, this is the candidate's um, dashboard. I've moved this candidate to the first round. So in order to take the interview, we'll go to conversations. And then we have that pop up machine learning um, engineer AI interview, and then we start our interview. So for this, I'll be sharing my camera and then not my screen. And then we expect the avatar to pop up. Great. So let's start the interview. Hi there, I'm Dara, your AI interviewer for today. Welcome to this interview session for the machine learning engineer role. This is a first stage interview and we have five minutes to get to know each other and delve into some technical aspects of the role. Please click on the button below when you want to start talking and click it again when you're done. Remember to be clear and audible. Good luck. Are you ready to begin? You can start by introducing yourself if you'd like. Okay. Hi, my name's Okui. Um, I'm excited to have applied for this role and I'm excited to be called up for this interview. Thank you so much. So the moment I send is when Dara starts listening. Great to meet you, Okui. Could you share with me a bit about your background and what drew you to apply for the machine learning engineer role? Um, so academically, I'm from a mechanical engineering background. However, um, since the pandemic, I've been drawn to the field of AI because of the impact of AI, AI research, uh, the impact of AI technologies, and I believe that this is a field where I want to grow my career in. Um, so, yes, I, I applied for this role because I am uh, very passionate about AI research and um, moving any um, form of AI work forward. Thank you very much. So the moment I send, like I said, is when Dara starts listening and uh, the interviewer would respond shortly. Thank you for sharing, Okui. It sounds like you have a strong passion for AI and its potential. Let's dive into some technical questions now. Can you explain how you would approach building a machine learning model to predict customer churn? Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to co collect data. Um, essentially, data with certain very important features, such as um, if this was for, let's say, an e-commerce client, would collect data based on uh, the amount of time each customer spends on the um, website, what exactly they click on, uh, the type of products that are shown to them, the kind of products that they search for. Um, we would also find data based on like comments that have been made, reviews that have been dropped about the e-commerce uh, product um, or platform, and then essentially um, analyze this data to see certain trends and also to determine what sort of machine learning algorithm will be suitable um, for this particular task. And then I'll go ahead to train the model that we found to be suitable and then try to make inference. And then with this inference, we'll gather information um, to see how we can retain customers. So um, if it means building a recommendation system algorithm afterward, um, if it means um, maybe with the information that we've gathered, knowing that customers are more likely to stay if you offer them freebies, then sure, such decision will be made um, because of the insights gotten from the machine learning algorithms. So thank you very much. So because that response was a bit lengthy, um, Dara will take a bit more time to respond, but it's not um, so much time as uh, Dara will respond shortly. That sounds like a well thought out approach, Okui. Now, could you tell me about a machine learning project you've worked on in the past? What was the problem you were solving and what was the outcome? Okay, um, I have actually um, worked on a recommendation uh, system for an e-commerce client and uh, hence the reason for my previous example. And um, this was one where uh, the client needed some information in order to um, achieve more customer retention. Um, the outcome of this project, or rather the process of this, um, involved collecting data, training um, a, a, a neural network, right? And then the outcome of this was that this client was able to record 29% um, increase in profit 
um, six months after this uh, recommendation system was built. And the profits was actually tied to um, an increase in customer retention. So um, that was the outcome and that was the project. Thank you very much. That's impressive, Oakley. It sounds like you made a significant impact with your project. Let's switch gears a bit. Can you explain what overfitting is and how you would prevent it when developing a machine learning model? Okay, um, overfitting is a phenomenon where uh, machine learning uh, models tend to learn so much from the training data but are not able to generalize it to real world or test data. And this occurs when you have probably so much noise in your training data and the model learns that noise instead of learning like the general patterns. It also occurs when you don't have so much data to work with and could occur when your model is too complex for the problem. My bad. So one way to solve this would be to regularize your model. Um, another way would be to reduce the complexity of your model. And uh, the most, would I say, um, not so realistic way would be to collect more data. So, I mean, it, it is realistic when data is available, right? Uh, but it, it's not always the case. But yes, collecting more data is actually the, the best way to solve uh, the problem of overf overfitting. But when that's not possible, then you either reduce complexity or you add regularization to your models. Thank you. So I've sent that response and yeah. Great explanation, Oakley. We've got about 1.25 minutes left. Do you have any questions about the company or the team you'd be working with? Um, yes, I've read a lot about uh, Diverse. Um, so I just want to know a bit more about the company culture and um, what you know about the company um, in terms of its culture and um, if it's a great place to work at. Okay. So we expect that information to be pulled Diverse from the job description. Diverse a strong emphasis on innovation and collaboration. We value creativity and encourage team members to think outside the box to solve challenging problems. Diversity and inclusion are core principles. We aim to provide a supportive environment where everyone can grow professionally. Our team is committed to fostering a workplace that values each individual's unique perspectives. Does that align with what you're looking for in a workplace? Um, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you very much for that answer. Okay. You're welcome, Oakley. We're almost out of time. If you have any final questions or comments, feel free to share. Um, I don't have any. Um, I think I'm done. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for your time, Oakley. It was great talking with you, and I wish you the best of luck in the next steps of your application process. Take care. Okay, so it's important to note a few things. One, the time wasn't actually up, but because I said I'm done, because I, I expressed my um, wish to end the interview, then the interview actually ended. Um, two, the AI interviewer is... Oh, okay. So the AI interviewer is... Um, well aware of the job description and how the company has presented itself in the job description and so can answer questions about the company at least based on the information in the job description right and so um, now that we're done with the interview from the candidates point of view you can see that we don't have access to the interview anymore so the only thing we can do is to track our application so view application you can see that the first round is done you can see the job description and the job itself then from the employer's point of view, when we go to the job, right, we can click on that candidate and then get AI feedback. And so we see that AI has already scored this candidate. So based on communication skills, these are the scores. Oh, the, the candidate engaged in asking clarifying questions, okay, didn't do so well on that. But um, technical competence, cultural fit, then problem identification and analytical skills. So I've been scored on, on these metrics. And so if um, you probably value one over the other, 
then uh, I mean this this is a good way for you to easily make your judgment as this has been marked out for you. Then we also see um, the AI feedback summary. So we see um, the summary, right? And um, we also have like a recommendation. So excellent performance, great fit. And then um, if you want to, you can also view the transcript. So um, you can read exactly how the interview went, right? Um, just read it up basically. Um, so from the assistant, which is the interviewer to the user, which is myself, the candidate in this case. So um, this is the AI interviewer in a nutshell. Thank you very much.